Today we're talking about airbrushing. This is my favorite airbrush gun. It's the Air Genie Go Go. It's completely cordless. Has the on button here in the white circle, and then it has your gun already attached. You're gonna put your color there in the in the color hopper, and then you are set and ready to go. These are the favorite airbrush colors that I like from the Cookie Countess. Um, these are the only ones that I love, use, and love. This is the stencil genie that you're going to use. It comes in two pieces and it helps keep your stencil in place. It has the magnets there on each end and that just is what helps your stencil to stay on your cookie. And then you have the cookie silk screen. This is from Three Sweet Chicks and it's also fantastic. It um, helps you not to get under spray under your cookies um, when you're spraying. All right, so we're going to do two stencils today. We're going to start off with a smaller one. That's from Sweet Design Shop. We're going to first put our stencil genie the thicker side down because I have thicker cookies. And then we're going to use the thinner lines. So you put your stencil down, then your silk screen, and finally the top of the stencil genie. All right, we're going to put our black color in today. And we are going to turn our machine on and just ever so slightly pull back on the trigger. You want to make sure that you use very light layers when you're doing a color so that you don't have puddles of color on your cookie. That's what you want to avoid. So just pull back ever so slightly on that trigger and then just lightly do layers. And there you go. There you have it. Beautiful. We're going to do a buffalo check today. So we're going to switch it and turn our stencil around. And we're going to do the same thing. Very, very light layers and very, very light pullback on the trigger. So make sure that you're covering the entire cookie and that you're just doing layers of that color so you don't have puddling. Beautiful. All right, I love it. Ready to decorate. Now we're gonna do switch out our stencil. We're gonna do our thicker stencil. I'm just wiping it down with a wet paper towel and I'm getting that thicker lined ready to go. Put down my stencil genie, then my stencil, then my silk screen, and finally, my other part of my stencil genie to keep everything in place. I'm going to turn my machine on and then I'm ready to go. I'm pulling back ever so slightly on that trigger and doing very light layers over my cookie. I want to make sure I do that so that I don't have any puddling of color on top of the cookie. It just gives a nice, nice layer. I'm going to ever so slightly lift up all of the pieces and voila, there you have it. Some beautifully stenciled cookies ready to decorate.